Florida? Uh, um, not today. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I have before, and I'm sure I will again. Yeah. One more question. Um, on, the, on the border. Is it the border? Uh, um, not today. <laughs> Is that a socialist or progressive perspective? No. <laughs> No, oh, it is the perspective of, of a woman who grew up a, a, a black child in America, who was also a prosecutor, who also has a mother who arrived here at the age of 19 from India, who also, you know, likes hip hop. <laughs> like, what do you want to know? <laughs> really bad. Uh, if you had to be stuck in an elevator with either President Trump, Mike Pence, or Jeff Sessions, who would it be? <laughs> Does one of us have to come out alive? <laughs> You're very different in the policies that you've supported in the past. You're considered the most liberal United States senator. I, I somebody said that, and it actually was Mike Pence on the debate stage. But <laughs> yeah, well, actually, the nonpartisan GovTrack has rated you as the most liberal senator. I am supporting the Green New Deal. We have to have goals. And we have to, it's a resolution that requires us to have goals. I just want to know from you, do you support defunding and removing police from American communities? I think that a big part of this conversation really is about reimagining how we do public safety in America. At which I support. You supported the Green New Deal. You supported Medicare for All. You've supported legalizing marijuana. Joe Biden doesn't support those things. I know that running for vice president must um, be a very full schedule for you. My head is so not there. Honestly, okay. my head is so not there. But I do have a follow-up question. How are you going to balance being the VP but also being the attorney general? <laughs> I want that so bad. We did it. We did it, Joe. You're going to be the next president of the United States. <laughs>